Good evening, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones and Mobile Gadgeteer blogs. As regular readers know, um, I have the Amazon Kindle 2 and uh, some news tonight just came out that has me for sure selling my Kindle 1. So as you can see here, we've got the Amazon Kindle 2 and the iPhone. And what I will show you now, that was just released tonight, this afternoon I guess, is... Um, here it is, Kindle 2 software on the Amazon on the iPhone. If we look right there, you see Amazon Kindle. It is available in the iTunes Apple App Store. Kindle for iPhone with Whisper Sync technology. When this, uh, when the Kindle 2 was announced in early February at the library, we heard the news that um, this software would eventually be coming to other devices. A lot of speculation on what devices and when. And I have to tell you, one week after shipping out the Kindle 2 and we're already seeing this software on the iPhone, it's pretty amazing to me. So, um, I can't show you now because I don't think there's a way to log out. But uh, what you do with your, uh, with your account it, when you first sign in, and actually let me see if I go here. If I deregister, I don't want to deregister. But what you do is you log into your Amazon account, and then uh, on mine, all of them appeared here as archived items. If I was to tap this, initially all of my books appeared here in archived items. You simply tap one of your archived items. It says downloading to home. And then if you go back to home, it'll put all of your books, and you can see it's still downloading. It'll put all of your books right there. Um, and then if I go like, if I say edit. I can delete the book. It just deletes it off my device. It doesn't delete it from the Amazon server, so I can always go to it. Um, here's the info page. I showed you this real quick. Uh, there's help about learn about Kindle, provide feedback, that kind of thing. If I uh, was to tap on get books, you cannot buy books on the uh, iPhone, and I also believe that you cannot uh, yet do magazines and newspapers, but I still have to check on that because uh, my current issues haven't shipped yet. But as you can see, you can't buy it from this uh, application. You have to use Safari on your iPhone to buy the books, or you can buy it from a Mac or PC using a web browser. Okay, so let's go to a book, and I'll just pick uh, Cryptonomicum here. So I go to a book, and um, there is is the book itself right there. If I tap on the screen, I get access to a lot of different controls down here. Um, this is back. Uh, if I say plus, that's a bookmark. If I tap on this here, it, go, it says go to, and you see right there, it's the cover. I'll go ahead and go there. Okay. And if I hit back, it goes back. Okay, so tap that again. There's cover, there's table of contents, there's beginning, there's location, and it still uses the funky... Uh, Amazon page locations I don't quite understand and then also my notes and marks appear here as bookmarks in the list so let me just say cancel and I'll go back to reading now the next button icon over is the fonts and as you can see there are five different selections there's the smallest next one up there's the middle font size next larger and the largest font size so you have five different font sizes to choose from and if you tap that, it goes down again. Now, let's just uh, go back to the book and say I'm reading. As you can see, up and down doesn't do anything. It's uh, right and left that uh, lets you read the book. So I go right and left, and let's just get to a location, okay? So there's the location at. Now, if I tap on this icon right, whoops, right there, it will sync. It says retrieving furthest. Sync to the furthest page read. You are currently at the furthest page read across all of your devices. So I say OK. OK, so that's on the iPhone. Now, if I grab my Kindle 2, let's just take it off the lock here. And let's go to uh, Cryptonomicum down here. Oh, I mean, I gotta make sure I. Uh, have to turn the wireless back on. Now one thing with the with Sprint, um, I don't always get the greatest signal. I really wish they would also add Wi-Fi. So it may take a second. Okay, let's see if we get a signal here. It flashed, but I have no bars right now. It may take a second here at my house to, uh, to get the signal. 
So let it just work there. But if I go to menu, it says right there is one option. Sync to the furthest page read. So I see I now have a signal with Sprint. So let me go ahead and say sync to the furthest page read. Syncing, as you can see, there's a status. Now syncing to the furthest reading location across all devices registered to your account. And there it is. It says location uh, 277.83. If I go here on the um, iPhone, I can see location 277.285. So if we look at uh, where the words are, and you can see, top, defined a graph, not a straight line. Defined a graph, not a straight line. There we go synced between the Apple iPhone, and this is the original iPhone, and the Amazon Kindle 2. It's pretty cool how that's uh, able to happen. Now with my Kindle 2, the nice thing as well is I can buy the books on here, have them synced here, and you know, with the Kindle 2, it's a great size device, but it's not always with me, whereas my phone always is with me. Thing is now, I bounce between a lot of different phones. It looks like with the support for this uh, Amazon Kindle on the iPhone, I may just be reading my, or popping my SIM in here and taking my iPhone more and more. Just a couple little things here. You can also uh, organize by title, author, recent. And uh, so that's a look at the Amazon Kindle 2 software for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Great job, Amazon. <laughs> I have to say I'm very impressed and uh, very excited about this software.